Now I laugh as you all burn. Ha ha ha. Ow. Hello everyone and welcome to another brand new episode of Minecraft One Life and as always let's destroy that 200 light goal. Now some of you pointed out that I was doing the pixies wrong last episode because apparently you don't use the jars. What you do is use a bug net and you can put them in a bug habitat. So we're gonna make some of those. Once we've made some of those some of you also pointed out there's lots of pixies next to Jack's house. So I'm gonna go find one of Jack's videos, find out where his house is and then we'll go have a look. What the flip? What's your profanity? Right, okay. Someone's tried to prank me here. Why is there a creeper statue in my house? Who put this here? If you know who this is, let me know in the comment section because I have no idea. So, we've got a bug net which requires... Ooh, I need to get some string. I've got the string. So, we're going to go ahead and make a bug net. I'm going to go make two. I don't know how much durability gets used when you use one. Do I need to make stained glass for this to work? Does it have to be stained? White stained glass? It has to be stained glass. Interesting. So, we need to get some sort of dye. And to make some sort of dye, if we get Lily of the Valley, if we just put it in here, will that make dye? It makes white dye. That's fine. So what we'll do is we'll take that. If I put the glass like so, put the dye in the middle, we put the glass back there, and then I need glass. Oh, what? It doesn't have to be dyed? I am so confused. I thought it had to be dyed. Or is it just because it can use any glass? I've dyed the glass and I didn't need to. And I've also made far too many habitats. But that's fine. We're also running out of chest space. This is mental. So we're going to take four habitats with us. And we're gonna go find Jack's house. We're gonna go find Jack's house as well. And then once we've found Jack's house, we can start putting pixies into the habitats. I also need to make more iron plating. I forgot how you do it. Oh, I've remembered. I've remembered. Because I'm gonna end up having to expand my vault to fit the pixies in. So let me quickly do some research and see where Jack's house is, and then we'll head off over there. So I believe I've located Jack's house, but I always end up reading coordinates wrong. So let's see if I actually end up going the right way. Oh my my goodness, what is with all the chickens? There's a birch forest next to Jack's house that is apparently full of pixies, so I'm gonna go try and catch some. But my main issue is actually finding his house, because I don't think I've ever come across it. Ah, spider with silly particles. Goodbye. I'm gonna get rid of you as well, because I don't want you shooting me when I'm trying to swim across. Oh. There we go. I was going to say, how dare you move, sir? Someone's made a little watery remembrance error for the players that have passed on the server. They use their one life poorly, it would seem. Oh, is he over the blooming mountain? Oh, I hate this mountain. Such a pain. Hello, Skellington. Oh my goodness, what am I doing with my life? Why are you like this, Kyle? There we go. Third time's a charm. I could probably just tunnel straight through the mountain, which would be easier. I actually probably should do that, really, shouldn't I? That would make way more sense. Skeleton. Stop it. Oh, Jack's house is more over this way, apparently. I was going the wrong way. Right, my X coordinate is correct. Wait, are you joking me? Is this Jack's house? Did I literally just run past his house? I am so done. Oh my God. What is actually wrong with me? I ran past his house. Also, he's got a security camera. That's pretty cool. I want one of those. But more importantly, there's a birch forest nearby that's got fairies in. So if we just go birch forest, search. Is this the one? It's over here. I was informed by a viewer that there's lots of pixies over there so let's go have a look and my nature's compass is telling me the birch forest over here is the closest one i have my bug net ready oh it's loving sunrise i'm not gonna find any pixies when it's sunrise i need it to be dark and magical Ooh, what's that oh that's an enderman i see particles and i get excited only to be let down so what i've done since it's now daytime i've saved a waypoint here and i'm gonna run back to my house i'm gonna go and extend my vault to make a new area to put the pixies in any like dragon ah Butterfly. Come here, butterfly. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? What did I just do? I just hit it. We must have to right click. You do. You right click. Oh my goodness. I'm such a spanner. Right. Let's get different colored ones. Come on, butterfly. Come on. Come on. There we go. So we've got an orange one and a pink one. Ooh, there's a yellow one. Hello. Why are you so high up? Got him. Right, we've actually got something to put in the extended area of the vault, so let's go extend it. Ooh, is that a light blue one? I don't have one. I've never been this excited about butterflies before in my life. Excellent. I have filled all of my little bug habitats with different colored butterflies. So this trip wasn't a waste. So thank you, viewer, who told me to go there because I didn't get pixies, but I got butterflies. That'll do. Oh, there's an actual creeper in my house. Okay, what is this? Does that spawn creepers? What is this? 
Why was there a creeper in my house? That was terrifying. Can we not? I'm not cut out for this. This is stressful. This is not good for my blood pressure. Right. Let me chuck that in there. White dye in the glass can go down here. Oh, joy. Trying to fix my vault and a blood moon has decided to appear. Isn't that just lovely? It's actually mental how much clay I've used and brick to do this already. And it's not enough. This is insanity. I need probably another 64 blocks of brick and then I should be okay. But I'm going to head back and get some of the clay. Oh my goodness. There's just mobs everywhere. It's that time of the evening, guys. It is blood moon time. Let's fight my way to my house. No, I don't want any creepers coming because I don't want my farm getting blown up. He says, as a creeper spawns literally inside one of my pens. Although I've just realized if I run around the blood moon and kill all the zombies, I'll get a load of rotten flesh. It's just the skeletons that annoy me. Everything else I can deal with. Have they turned up how much stuff spawns on a blood moon? Because I feel like there's a lot more around my base. Yikes, let's run over here. Oh my goodness, it feels like there's a lot more. Okay, so we're just gonna run on over to spawn to get to some safety and to turn the switch on so I can continue making my vault. I need to get inside and turn it to day. I could have teleported, but I didn't want to waste my experience. Okay, is anything spawned inside because the doors are open? No. Okay. Day button. There we go. Now I laugh as you all burn. Ha ha ha. Ow. That's not funny at all. That really hurt. Oh, and I also need to bandage up. There we go. We've bandaged up. We can head back home and continue with our vault. And then we can expand it and put the butterflies in. And it'll be lovely. If things would just stop attacking me, that would be great. So as you can see, I tunneled through to another room that will be the new expansion for the wing of the vault. So we will come on through here to a different part of the vault, which will house various other goodies. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Why was there a creeper in there? So as you can see, I've nearly filled all this in. Nearly being the optimum word. Oh, you are joking. I mean, I've got the roof to do as well, I guess. But when we come through here, oh, there's a bat in here. How did you get in here? What I was thinking is the iron plating's done and I'm smelting some cobblestone to turn it into stone. I'm going to use a stone brick floor just so I mix the floors up, make them all different in each room. Trust that now I've caught loads of butterflies. There's loads of butterflies floating around my house I could have caught. I want some sort of stand as well that I can put the bug habitats on, but I'm not sure what I could use. Let us have a nose. So we have a hat stand. Stand, a armor stand, an IV stand, a sword stand. Okay, so there's actually nothing that I could use. What could I put them on? A dishwasher? Oh, I'm gonna have to look into making a dishwasher. Interesting. I think what I might do is might just stand them on glowstone because that looked pretty nice. It'd light it up. I think that's a good idea. If I go down here and get some glowstone. There we go. And then if I put it in here, like so, there's the glowstone. Is there any more funky glowstone stuff? There is not. Interesting. So we'll just put it on the glowstone for now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. My vault is coming along nicely. We're getting there. I'm just going to come through here and we're going to put... Oh my goodness. How did you get in here? Don't tell me mobs can spawn in here. Oh dear. We're going to have to do something about that. Apparently, you see, I thought if you put torches down, it stopped mobs spawning. But it never works for me. It's is it just because it's one life and we've got a rule that overrides that? Or am I doing it wrong, guys? Is there another thing I should be doing to stop mobs spawning? Ah, I was so close. I nearly had it finished. Ooh, I need a different type of terracotta for in here, I think. And then we can do the ceiling a funky color. But what I can do is I can go glowstone, 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 glowstone. And then hopefully it lets me put these habitats on top. No! No, it doesn't. It releases them. Get in the net. Get in the net. Get in the net. Get in the net. Right, you're back in the net. Is there a display case? I know there's display cases, but is that what I want? I don't know. Right, we've got these cases, but I don't think that's what I want. But we'll make one anyway and put it on top of the glowstone and see if that's what I want. If not, what I might do is break the glowstone and have it like a piece in each corner for the lighting for now. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, maybe glowstone in the wall, like here, and then put the glass item frame there. So like the I the item is like hanging on the glowstone. That would work. That would be cool. What I'll do is I'll do one of each and you guys tell me what you prefer. So do I have any wool? If not, I'm gonna have to shear someone's sheep. Oh, I do. And I've got glass and a framed case. What is that? I need oak. So we need wool there, glass there. But I think the issue is it slabs. So we need oak. So I'm gonna go chop down a tree. To be honest, I don't know if he's gonna let me put the display case on top of the glowstone, but let's find out. Uh, is it meant to go like that? Guys, I'm confused. Is, is that the way it goes? Can I, what, 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 
What just happened? If I break it, does it break it or does it come back to me? Oh, it comes back to me. Okay. It's meant to be laid flat. Yeah, it's meant to go down like that. Why did it do that? That's so bizarre. There we go. Can I put stuff in it? Why are you not opening? I am so confused. It doesn't open. I've made a display case that doesn't work. Can't put anything in it. Okay. I'm not sure why the display cases aren't working, but let us set up. If I break this and if I say break that and then get a bit of glowstone, put that there and then get an item frame, put that there and then put that in. Is that better, do you think? Then put in one into there, if I can even put it in there. Should I have it like that? Or should I just leave it with the iron with the glass item frames? You guys, let me know. I feel leaving it up to you guys is the best choice. Because you guys are better designers than I am. I'm pretty bad at building stuff. I will do the roof in terracotta. But I will do that off camera. Because that's going to take forever. And also, I'll have to gather some more resources. So we can carry on the pickaxes. Because we have so many to collect. It's crazy. It's that time of the episode again. It is time for the interesting fact of the day. Today's interesting fact is brought to you by Ethan and their interesting fact is southern sea otters have flaps of skin under their forearms that act as pockets. When diving, they use these pockets to store rocks and food. I saw this and I was like, that's mental. I need to check this out. And then I've looked into it and indeed, they literally have tiny otter pockets. That's amazing. Isn't nature wonderful? But as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below with an interesting fact for a chance to have it featured at the end of the next One Life episode or future One Life episode. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.